Hey guys, so this was a very spontaneous ride that I decided to do while I was in Austin, Texas. So recently I drove over there from San Diego with my Siberian Husky, Riley, and I was there to attend the MotoGP race at Circuit of the Americas. While I was there, I really liked the idea of being able to record a one wheel ride where I'm able to capture the farmlands where it's all flat and green and really expanding outwards. And I wanted that because that doesn't exist in California. So it's just different landscape and I thought it would be really beautiful to capture. Out of the blue, while I was browsing around on the map to see things that I could explore, I saw the Texas Chainsaw House on Google Maps. And I found that comical because friend of mine really enjoyed the 2003 movie with Jessica Biel and I always thought that was a little surprising because I never met someone that enjoyed the Texas Chainsaw movies. <laughs> so seeing it on the map and realizing that it was 30 minutes from my Airbnb, so I just figured, you know what, let's go and see what this house might be like. After I went there and looked around a little bit, I realized that this might be a fun or unique video opportunity where I would be able to record a one wheel ride with her and have the Texas Chainsaw house in the background. Although after looking at the footage again, the house is so set back from the road that you're barely able to see it. But something that I did really like is the fact that I was able to capture that landscape that I wanted. So in this moment, you see that her leash falls out onto the road. And when that happened, I was definitely pretty nervous because it would be a disaster if that leash got caught up in my wheels. Although that would be unlikely to happen unless she was actually in front of me. But still, that made me very nervous because to be honest, when I am riding and recording, I am not that comfortable because the way that the Insta360 is designed, the lens really sticks out, which means that if you were to drop it, there's a very, very high chance that you will scratch the lens. So every time I am riding, I am really nervous about that fact, which makes it so that I'm definitely more anxious whenever stuff like this happens. Normally when I ride, I do prefer to hold the leash. That way I'm able to feel what her speed is like and try to match her but since the Insta360 uh, requires both of my hands to hold comfortably for an extended ride, I decided to just tuck her leash into my pants. Here you can finally see the house a bit more, although I have to zoom in all the way just for it to show up a tiny bit. But based on the clips that I showed at the very beginning, I feel like they haven't done much restoration on it. And as you pass by the front gate, you see they have a lot of cameras. I think that for a while they did not have the gate up or they probably didn't have it fenced, but because people kept coming by or perhaps even trespassing, they needed to post signs, have the cameras, just really try to prevent people from intruding on their private property. This ride was actually fairly difficult for me because it was extremely windy and I was going against the wind. The road was really bumpy as well. It wasn't a smooth riding experience. Her leash was dangling on the side, which I didn't feel so great about. And the camera always ends up feeling heavy for me to hold. So there's just a lot of things that were out of my element. I feel like if the house was a little bit closer and a bit more prominent where it could just look creepy in the background, that would enhance everything. But still, I'm excited to share this experience with you guys.